Hey guys, Shane here, Echo Soundworks, and in this video, we'll be checking out what has quickly become one of my go-to favorite drum samplers. It's called Atlas. So Atlas came out a couple months ago, and I saw some ads for it, and it caught my eye, mainly because it looks a lot different than your conventional drum sampler on the market. And I'm a battery and machine user, and so I thought, okay, might be kind of cool to test something out. It was marketed as an artificial intelligence sampler. It used AI. And it does do that, but outside of that angle to Atlas, it actually, it actually is a really functional drum sampler, and it does something that no other drum sampler that I've found or that I've used does. And it marries and blends two distinct workflows together. So you can really trigger your drum grooves via MIDI or with audio. Usually, like with battery, for instance, you load up a sample, play it with MIDI, and then you have to export to audio, right? If you want to just start to drag and drag audio files into your DAW, it's kind of a pain in the ass in things like battery or machine. Well, Atlas kind of blends both of those. So in this video, I'm going to talk about about four or five features that I really like about Atlas and that what makes it kind of stand out from a very crowded market, at least in my opinion. And then I'm also going to, at the end, talk about some of my wish list features for Atlas. So if you guys are battery users or machine users and you're kind of, uh, you know, you're kind of power users with certain features in those platforms, some of those are missing from Atlas, but you will be able to see which ones. So let's dive into Logic and get started. So in Atlas, you have these things called maps. All these pretty colorful dots you see, this is, these are all being called up from a map. So from a map, you can load a kit, right? This is a kit, this is a map. So you can create custom maps and obviously custom, kit, uh, custom kits. So if I go and I wanna create a new map, it's very easy. So this is where the artificial intelligence angle of Atlas occurs. Let's create a new map. I'm gonna call this hip hop. So the reason I'm calling this hip hop is because I want to import some hip hop only samples. So that way, if I'm starting a hip hop beat, I can load this map and create kits very quickly of only hip hop samples. I'll drag all these over, I guess. And we will hit analyze sample. So what, what, uh, Atlas is doing right now is basically little fairies, nymphs, and gnomes in the background are going through catalog cataloging, indexing all of the samples I just imported. And it's figuring out what sample, what each sample is, whether it's a kick, a snare, whatever. So I don't like this color, so you can actually change the color. So let's make this, uh, I don't know, what's hip hoppy to me? Ah, oh, we'll just roll with that. So let's hit load map. So now I've loaded the map. It looks different than the last map that we had loaded up. So now I can hit new kit and the kit kind of color codes to the map based off of the map color that I chose for the icon, right? So now I'm working with just hip hop samples and I'm off and running. Right, so I can quickly just keep hitting new kit So the second thing that I really like about Atlas is that you can work with it in two distinct ways. I would argue that there are two main ways to create a drum groove in an ETAW. The first way would be to load up samples and trigger those samples via MIDI, right? With your keyboard, draw it in in a MIDI or pian piano roll. Now the second way is to drag and drop audio into your DAW and rearrange the audio into a drum groove. Well, Atlas allows you to, to, to basically use both methods in your production workflow, which is awesome. So let's say I want to create a drum groove real quick. I can record it into my DAW really easily. Just like that, we have a MIDI region in, in Logic now. So this is where it gets really cool. Let's say I want to add this snare to my actual DAW's arrange window here, my main window. And there's tons of reasons why you'd want to do this. Maybe I want reverb on this, on this clap, rather. Or I want to apply some processing. Or for whatever reason, I just want it as audio. Well, I can just click and drag this into my DAW, which is awesome. It's crazy to me that a lot of samples don't allow you to do this. So let's say I want to take this sample, same here. I can take it from the map or from the kit. So the third thing that really caught my attention with Atlas is I can hot swap samples in my MIDI groove almost in real time. So here's a little MIDI groove we, cre we created. Let's say I don't like this clap, right? Well, 
there's intuitive ways to mute it as well. I can just right click to mute it. I can uh, shift click to solo it. And uh, let's say I actually just want a different sample in there. Well, I can go into my map here. And I can click and drag a new sample into that cell. Or I can hit this, this basically this toggle switch, which will import a new sample. Which is really cool because you can essentially do it on the fly, real time, and you can change your, your groove without having to go through and really think about what you're doing. So the fourth thing that I like about Atlas is you can save your own MIDI clips. So let's say you make a MIDI groove and you really like it, and you know it's a hip hop groove. Odds are you can use elements of that in a future production, and it's just gonna speed up your workflow. So what you can do is you can export MIDI up, and then you can click the folder icon, and then you drag that into the Atlas MIDI clips. And just like that, you can access that anytime you want by going into your user MIDI clip section inside of Atlas, and then you can drag that to your DAW, and here it is. So the fifth thing that I like about Atlas isn't necessarily one thing. It's a few different features that I think make it a very overall very nice user experience. So you can resize the GUI, which is huge because when I want to work with Atlas by just dragging samples into my DAW onto my arrange window here, my main window in Logic, it's nice to be able to make it a smaller interface and so I can just drag stuff over, right? Um, I love that, and I love that it, it's it's variable. It's not just 100%, 150%, 200%, right? But then if I'm working with, you know, maybe I want to work with the big cell matrix, like 4 by 4 or, or, or even do the 8 by 8 it's nice to be able to see a little bit more screen, right? So I love that feature. And I also love uh, another kind of interesting feature that Atlas has included. Let's go back to one byte real quick is you have a couple basic controls here. You got gain, shape, filter, pitch, and pan. So obviously you know what pan is, you're gonna know what pitch is, and filter, right? Uh, turn left for low pass, right for high pass. So that's really cool, because you can shape the sounds, but it's not like a creative shaping tool, it's just to get the sound to fit into the mix. Well, the shape tool is nice. It's pretty pretty interesting. So, so we'll, we'll play this uh, snare here. So if I turn this to the left, it chokes the release which is really cool. So it's kind of like a uh, intelligent start and end point slider, right? And then if you turn it to the right, it increases the attack. So that's really nice, because let's say I wanted to take this tail of this snare, because it's got a lot of foley, right? And a little bit of reverb, and I wanted to layer it with another snare, right? Like this clap. I was searching for some other one. So what you can do is you can go to this one, turn your shape up, and then layer that with another sound that has less of a tail, right? And I can change the pitch on this one. To match the sample. So I love that feature, pretty cool. All right, guys, so that sums up the five features I like about Atlas. Now, at the beginning of the video, I talked about how at the end, I want to touch on some features that are missing from Atlas that are common in various uh, various drum samplers out there, right? So those samplers are, there is no reverse. You can't reverse the sample, and there's no start and end points, like conventional start and end points on the samples. So if you're a battery user or you, you make beats with uh, the native tools in Ableton, you might be used to having those, right? So they don't have that. Like I like I did just mention though, there is the shape control, but it's not it's not a straightforward you know start and end time, right? Now you also don't have a rolling feature, and uh, the rolling feature, if you guys are machine users, you probably use all the time, right? If you want to make hi hat rolls, if you're a hip hop producer, trap producer, and you're trying to get like syncopated you know triplet hi hat rolls, snare rolls, it's pretty nice to have that feature where you can you know basically automate part of that that process for you. So I did actually reach out to the Algonaut team. And I asked them about, you know, hey, would you ever consider adding these features to Alice? I really like it, but to do these features, I still have to jump into other samplers. And I not only got an email back, I got a really enthusiastic email. So that's awesome. So I actually think those features will get added to a later version of Atlas because the more Atlas adds kind of those uh, 
kind of bread bread and butter core sam- drum sampling features into Atlas, the better it's going to get because it has all these other features that you don't find in any other drum sampler. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post those. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please hit that like and subscribe button. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.